Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Team of the Season preview video number two. Last time we looked at Man of the Match cards and the rarity of those cards on FIFA Ultimate Team and how they're going to be good to trade with and to uh, invest with during Team of the Season. Today, we need to look at the high tier market. We're talking Team of the Years. We're talking other special cards in this game. I'm not really looking at icons. Um, at this point in time. I will maybe look at that in, in another video because I know a lot of people want to know about that. But um, I just want to look at today. We're going to look at a lot of Premier League stuff um, because that's the most popular league. But it's going to be the same for each league. Um, as we saw in the other graphs that we looked at yesterday, there's a lot of every single week when we get a new league, Premier League stuff drops for Premier League when it's upcoming. Bundesliga stuff drops for Bundesliga when that, when that league is upcoming. All that kind of stuff we need to keep our eyes out for, uh, but depending on who you want to have in your team and who is in your final team and who you're building towards, a lot of people are building towards a final team that they're going to buy during team of the season, and a lot of people have these team of the year cards included in those squads. So I'm going to take a look at some cards today on the market, talk through some prices with you guys and some possible market movements with these cards because I think a lot of them are going to go down. A lot of them are going to, um, you know, be panic sold in the hype for team of the year, especially right at the beginning for the Premier League. Since there are so many Premier League um, players that are in this team of the year, obviously you have a bunch of them, including um, guys like De Bruyne who might not get his own team of the year card. Same with Conte. We're going to have to monitor that situation. And we're going to see here that if you want one of these guys in your team, you can't wait until team of the season to buy this card. You're going to have to buy it beforehand in the crash before team of the season when kind of the first announcement comes out. That's when a lot of these cards hit their lowest point. But we're going to look at a few examples here of a few cards that did not get team of the seasons that went up crazy in value when their league was released. First off, we have ones to watch Aubameyang. Um, this card was a winter once to watch card transferred from Dortmund to Arsenal last year. And this is a very good card of FIFA Ultimate Team. Yes, it's a top tier striker with a 99 pace, 90 shooting. And this was his best card that he actually ended up getting last year. And you can see this big jump right here. This is during team of the season. So I want to take you through some dates here. Last year on April 27th, which is this Friday, that was when team of the season was introduced. They started out with community tots, the voting, and April 27th was when team of the season officially came out, started, we knew about it. And you can obviously see, look what happens to his price. It had been trending down obviously in the weeks before that. And then boom, April 27th comes and we have him going from 480K to the middle of next week. He hits 420,000 coins. Now people knew that Premier League would likely be next. So you see this car getting panic sold and it hits a low point. On Friday, May 4th was the date when Premier League tots came out. Just for your memory right there, you see that he hits his low point on actually Saturday, May 5th. He hits 410,000 coins according to this graph. And look what happens after that. People rip their packs, people panic sell everything. They start to try out these new team of the season cards, do the objectives, do the SBCs. Everybody forgets about these cards for that first day or so. Then they get into the team building mode. And you're going to see that time and time again as we look at these graphs throughout these team of the season market preview videos. Um, look what happens to Aubameyang's price. He goes from 410,000 coins to the next weekend in the middle of the week. So actually like four days later, he goes up 100,000 coins uh, on the Wednesday, May 9th is when he hits his peak. And even into the weekend, he's still upper 400,000 coins. So if whether you're looking at this for like an investment value or whether I want to build my team value and this guy's in it, the best time for you to buy in the short term during team this season is going to be in that early on period. Now, if you're somebody who's going to want to make a new team every single week when team of the season comes out, so Premier League comes out and you see you want to get Kevin De Bruyne in your team, try him out. You see him for 1.45 million coins. You pull the trigger. You put him in your team. He hits 1.7 on the weekend. Uh, you sell your team. You make bank on your team. And then you do the same thing the next week 
when, let's say, the Bundesliga comes out second, you buy the Bundesliga cards that are panic sold, build a team around that, do some packs, pack a card or something. You know, you can honestly do that during team of the season. You're bound to lose, lose some coins somewhere. But a lot of cards like this, uh, especially like this Aubameyang card, you can make some big time bank on these cards in the panic sell before team of the season. And it's going to be the biggest rebound with these Premier League cards because Premier League is the most hyped league and the most used league in this game. Let's look at a second example. Now, this is a team of the year card. David De Gea, who had a team of the season card of similar value. Look what happens to this card. 935k over 900k drops down. So obviously it's announced on May 4th. I don't know if people didn't think that he was going to get a team this season. His price went from 900k down to middle of the week 739k. Now this card's price was definitely affected by the team of the season. We will open this link in a new uh, tab here really quick and just to look at his price, what happened during team of the season. So this card was about the same price. It was a little bit cheaper. You see here he was 697k. The team of the year was down here at 750. It was more rare. This card was more rare and it had very similar stats, but a few it had better diving, better handling, or excuse me, better diving and better kicking and on, on the team of the year card. So they were pretty much the same price. But since there's just so much hype for De Gea in that time frame, there were so many people that probably had De Gea in their endgame squad, which is going to be the exact same this year. So many people are going to have De Gea as their endgame goalkeeper that they're going to want to put in their team when Premier League Tots comes out, regardless of who's in it. This card's going to go up. Let's say this card hits 700,000 700, coins again in the, in the panic cell. I could definitely see it going back up to 800, 850 with people. Um, just going out and knowing that that's the keeper that they want in their team. They're building their team during that first section of team of the season. And the rebound, it wasn't as big, but he went from 730 to 830, 824 on that Thursday, which is also Weekend League Rewards Day last year in FIFA. It was just the rewards were later in the day at 6 p.m. UK, as we had always known it. So that's a card to watch. Now I want to look at Angolo Conte. This was another card that if you were a top tier guy, if you wanted this card in your team and you had the coins, you had to buy him early. Look, look what happens in the Tots announcement. He's 1.1 million coins. St goes to his lowest on the Tuesday during team this season. But I think people really realized, you know, Conte might not get a team this season card. They started buying their teams, buying him up. He goes up about 50K into Premier League Tots. Does not get a team this season card. Goes back down a little bit on Sunday. But then looks what happens into the next week. He skyrockets back up in price up to 1.3 million coins on the xbox so he goes from 1.1 to 1.3 now that's not really a card that you would want to trade with and just buy to trade with unless you have like 50 million coins but this is a card that you could just chuck in your team and play with during premier league tots because you know if he doesn't get a team the season card this is going to be the cdm that everybody wants to play with this year let me look at, let's look at this year's card the CDM Conte, everybody's going to want to have this in their Premier League TOTS team. They're going to want to surround him with the TOTS cards that come out this year. You know, a TOTS son. Um, I don't know about any other Chelsea team of the season players. Um, you know, but team of the season players from the Prem, uh, a lot of those are pe people are just going to go after these cards, especially um, the De Gea, the De Bruyne, and the Conte. Now, those cards, I don't know if De Gea will get a team of the season. I presume that he will. Uh, De Bruyne was hurt for a long time. I don't think that he will. And Conte, you know, maybe, maybe not. It just depends on who they put in. Conte is one that's on the fence for me. Um, Van Dyke definitely will, but everybody has that player of the year card um, that came out, the SBC that is out right now. I don't see this card as really a great investment during that time frame, just because his team of the season card is going to mimic that player of the year. And the player of the year card only costed about a million coins to do the SBC. So uh, this card might lose a little bit of its hype, the team of the year, especially because it's not the highest rated version of Van Dyke in the game anymore with the team of the season version and that player of the year card going to be higher. So Conte is another one that you want to watch and see um, if, he, if he gets really low in the panic sale before a team of the season and you want him in your team, that's going to be your time to buy him. Now, we're going to take a step back here and look at Sergio Aguero. Now I talked about that I also wanted to take a look at cards that did get team of the seasons because so far we've only looked at cards that have not. Sergio Aguero got a team of the season card and 
the thing with Aguero was, look how many special cards he has had through the entire year. If you wanted to use a special version of Aguero, you were you have already done it during the year of FIFA 18. By the time Team of the Season comes out, yes, his 97 rated Tots is very high rated. It's got incredible stats, but it's also very expensive. And this is just the type of card that it's not super meta in FIFA. And it doesn't have the demand as maybe a De Bruyne or maybe a Sun or maybe even like a Team of the Season a Bombing would have this year. And you see this inform price literally just stay the same and keep dropping during Premier League Tots because yes, he got a Team of the Season card, but the demand wasn't there for his other cards to bring him up. So that's what I want to warn you guys with. If Even if you have not done the Player of the Year Van Dyke SBC and you want to get a version of Van Dyke in your team, uh, you know, you might not be able to flip it and make coins like we have looked at some of these other cards. Uh, just because Van Dyke has had so many special cards this year, and yes, you're going to see panic selling of them, but there's not going to be as much um, buyback on the rebound because he has that player of the year. And that's the big thing that so many people are doing that player of the year SBC, and they're going to have that card, or they're going to pack the team of the season card that a card like Van Dyke might not rise as much during team of the season uh, in that the team building hype, as we'll call it, because he uh, he has so many special cards. There's so many ways where people can go, whereas as a Bamiyang, if you wanted the best version, this is the only option that you had, which at the time, it was a 90 rated card, because this 91 rated inform, I think, came after uh, the fact that he got, um, after the fact of team of the season, if I'm, if I'm wrong with it, I'm not entirely sure on that one. I wanna look at one last player. And this is more the middle tier. This isn't really a high tier player, but Hugo Lloris only had one special card during team of the season, and it was a team of the group stage goalkeeper card. Now we're gonna look at more of these middle tier cards later on in another video, but take a look at this hype and look at this panic. We'll zoom in on the graph here uh, for you guys really quick, because this is something that you're gonna wanna see. Take a look at this panic. So team of the season is announced on the 27th, Hugo is dropping. He hits on that first weekend of Panic, 106,000 coins. Now, we know that Premier League Tots is probably going to be next. He stays at a low price, under 120. Premier League starts, Tots starts on the fourth. Boom. He shoots up to 165,000 coins within three days. Look at that. That is crazy. There's going to be a lot of money in some of these rare and older special cards on the game. Even if they're not the best versions, that first week is so Premier League driven and everybody's gonna have some version of a TOTS card because TOTS cards aren't really that expensive. And especially this year with people having a lot more coins, they could be more expensive, but that just means people can afford them. People are gonna be opening upgrade packs. People are going to pack these team of the season cards and build teams around them. That's why you see this card go nuts during Premier League team of the season. And Thursday flipping during Premier League team of the season, you're going to have to obviously buy earlier in the week, buy on the weekend when a lot of people are just opening packs. That's when you're going to want to buy in the panic and, when, and during that first weekend. But Thursday flipping during team of the season, oh my goodness, it's going to be insane. Everybody's going to be go, going and buying their teams. They're going to have packs from weekend league. Everybody's going to be playing the game at that point because they're going to have team of the season cards and packs. So who's not going to want to play their foot champs games to try to grind and get rewards and more packs to open up during team of the season? Everybody's going to be playing the game. And that means more rewards and more rewards means more hype on the market. And of course, um, more people buying things because they have more coins uh, and stuff like that. So this is your Reese card. We're going to look at some middle tier items like this, but this is really the ticket, man, uh, because so many more people can afford a card like this then they can afford like a team of the year De Gea or something like that. So that's a card to kind of keep your eyes on, keep your watch on. But again, focusing on these team of the year cards, the ones that do not get in team of the season. Um, so from the Premier League, we're looking at possibly De Bruyne, possibly Conte. Those cards that do not get in, uh, you got to be really careful with those and really time it well and watch the panic. Set a price for yourself. I know you've heard other people talk about this. Set a price that you're willing to pay for that card. And when that card hits that price, even if you think it might go lower, maybe wait it out a tiny bit more. But when the card hits that price, when you're happy with the price of that card, 
buy the card, throw it in your team, and enjoy the card. That's what this time of the year is about. Yes, we have coins. This is why we've been trading. We, this, this is kind of like culminates the year of FIFA. There's so many things to do during team of the season, and if you don't have coins during that time, you know, it really sucks. So hopefully you guys do have your coins. After this period of Thursday flipping, make sure that you stay liquid. A lot of people think we might get a TOTS announcement this weekend. It still could be another week. Who knows? But keeping your coins liquid is a safe bet, um, you know, on the more logistical side of things. You know, I've got a lot of coins in Thursday flips right now. I'm watching a lot of that kind of stuff. But I wanted to bring you guys this video talking about team of the year cards and the very, very high rated cards. I haven't touched on other cards yet. We'll go back over here to foot 19. We'll look at all team of the weeks. You know, let's say a card is in team of the knockout stage. Well, that's a bad example. Maybe your Reese. Let's say your Reese does not get a team of the season. This is his best version. Maybe you see this card at 100,000 coins or like 110K. Actually, it'd probably go lower than that. If this card goes under 100K, it's a huge buy because this is going to be just like his last year card right here. This one is going to rebound and shoot back up as people go and they build their teams. But again, we're going to be looking for the highest rated versions of some of these cards. I don't know if um, any of these really cheaper ones would rebound, but during Premier League Tots, all these guys are probably getting team of the seasons. Maybe not a guy like Vertonghen. So, you know, this is a rare card on the market. 170K, if you see him drop to like 100K, even if you don't want to use this card in your team, just buy one, put it in the club, and in the next week, he'll be able to go back up to 150 at least. I mean, team of the season is such a fantastic time to make money because it's like Thursday flipping every day because every single day people are going out after that first weekend, they're going out and they're buying players to build teams with. This is the most team building like of the entire year happens during this period. So again, you're gonna be looking for the highest rated versions of OP and meta cards. Let's say Gabriel Jesus does not get in team of the season. This could be a fantastic shout for Gabriel Jesus. This might be his best card all year. You see this drop to like 275, 280K in the panic selling for team of the season. You pick that up and you store it up there because he's going to be linked up with, you know, maybe a team of the season. Let's say some somebody packs a team of the season card. They want to build a team around him. They want to have Gabriel Jesus at striker. This card has great stats. This card will be panic sold and will rebound because it's rare. It's a rare special card, all kinds of stuff like that. So there's so many examples of this that's going to happen during team of the season. It's going to present opportunities to flip cards and to honestly, it's like a, it's, I like, I talked about it in the, the man of the match video. It's almost like a discard investing method. You can just buy one, throw it in the club on that first weekend when all the panic is happening, when everybody's panic selling for Premier League tots, and you can sell later in the week when people are building their teams around the Premier League tots cards that they have gotten. And you can just make some big time bank or just use the card yourself and play with it in game. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for the high rated cards. If you have any questions or comments, hit me down below in the comment section. I'll be down there answering your questions. Good luck with your Thursday flips as well. Those are definitely going on. And hopefully we hear something about team of the season this weekend. If you like the video, thumbs up to it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.